Friends, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library. I'm into crafts that repurpose or upcycle items that typically gather in drawers or we plan to drop into our recycling bins. In this episode of Handmade at Home, I'll show you how to repurpose those wine corks you've been saving by turning them into decorative birdhouses to jazz up your houseplants. Let's get started. If you aren't using acorns from a craft supply store, there's a bit of prep work required. You will need to clean and properly dry them. This slide covers the steps needed to accomplish this task. Here's a list of supplies needed for this project. Wine corks. I found the longer and skinnier corks to work best for this project as the acorn caps fit the tops of the corks a bit better. Acorn caps. Wooden skewers. Toothpicks. A hot glue gun. A drill with two different size bits. I opted to use the following sizes. 1 16th of an inch for the perch and 13 64ths of an inch for the doorway. Depending on the size of your toothpick, you may need a different size bit. You may also wish to have a larger doorway. Substitute bit size as you wish. This is your project. Step 2. A nod to Jim Morrison. Using the 13 64ths of an inch bit. Drill a small hole about halfway down from the top of your cork. Be careful to not drill all the way through your cork. Step 3. Perch prep. To speed things up, a little prep goes a long way. Snap about one third off the ends of your toothpicks. As the picture illustrates, we'll be using the squared off or blunted ends as our perches. And on to our next step. Step 4. Perch. Using the 1 16th of an inch bit, drill a hole partially into your cork just below the doorway you made. This is just a pilot hole, so it does not need to be deep. Glue is optional. Insert the broken end of the toothpick. Apply pressure until the perch is seated to your liking. Step 5. Sorting your acorn caps. To help out for the next step, it may be helpful to sort your acorn caps into two groups based on size, large and small. Step 6. Glue. This step is pretty straightforward. Using your hot glue gun, apply glue to the top of your cork. Press one of your large acorn caps onto the glue. If you wish to add a smaller cap on top, simply apply glue to the top of your cap and repeat. At this point, you finished making the birdhouse. I was thinking that these would be absolutely adorable as a holiday ornament or even a nice addition to jazz up gift wrap. Just add a bow. Step seven, time for skewers. Glue is optional here. Using the pointed end of your skewer, insert it into the bottom of your wine cork. Pretty easy. If you're planning to place your birdhouse in a smaller plant, like a succulent, you may wish to adjust the length of your skewer. In Bazinga, you just upcycled your wine corks. For other wine cork crafts, check out my trivet and corkboard videos. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this episode of Handmade at Home. As always, we would love to see what you made. Feel free to email your photos to dhreference at gmail.com or use hashtag dhclibraries on social media. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhc.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.